This week on Test Drive, we take a look at the Focus. Now, for you eagle-eyed viewers, you'll remember that we've already done the three, four, and five-door Focuses already, at least in the last couple of years. But this is no ordinary Focus. It's down to some severe modification and three little letters, SVT. When Ford, in its infinite wisdom, decided to replace the Escort and Contour models with a single vehicle, it effectively killed affordable access to a serious performance car, the Contour SVT. The work done by Ford's special vehicle team, or SVT, takes the ordinary and transforms it into the extraordinary. In short, everything between the front and rear bumpers sees some serious upgrading. Enough, in fact, that the finished item has little in common with its rather pedestrian roots. You know, of all of the mods that they've made to this new Focus, right under the hood here is where the most significant one takes place. Now, whilst this engine is based on the 2-litre ZTEC engine that powers many other Focuses, this particular unit has been breathed on by SVT. The result? The horsepower rises from a rather mediocre 130 to a number that this car has always cried out for, and that's 170 horsepower. <laughs> As well as a dramatic bump in horsepower, the SVT gets another 10 pounds feet of torque, meaning 145. The extra oomph comes through significant change. A variable intake manifold is augmented with variable valve timing on the intake cam. This stretches the power out over a broader range. As the result, the SVT enjoys a smoother idle, better mid-range and stronger top end, something that has to be experienced to be fully appreciated. For example, the run from rest to 100 kilometers an hour drops from calendar-like to about seven and a half seconds. This is also the first North American Ford to feature a dual-mass flywheel. This feature further smooths out the operating characteristics of the engine. Gaining access to the back seat of this SVT, well, it's pretty much par for the course, meaning a bit awkward. However, once you get back here, there's a surprising amount of headroom, enough legroom, and there's enough room under the seat for your feet. However, there is somewhat of a drawback. Whilst it is commendable that you get a center headrest for the rear seat rider, it does clutter the view through the rear view mirror. Now, given that the fact that this seat is uncomfortable, take my advice. Take it out, store it in the trunk, and that way you'll have a much better view through the rear view mirror. The ratios chosen for the six-speed manual box also complement the engine. The first four gears are strung together to maximize acceleration, while the last two bring better highway cruising. Engine aside, the most significant upgrade is the suspension. With stiffer springs, firmer damping, larger anti-roll bars, and 17-inch wheels, the Focus remains flat and unflustered even as you flirt with the ragged edge. Through the pylons, it bobbed and weaved with little body roll, minimal understeer, and a feeling more like a go-kart than a car. The best part is that the handling prowess comes with little sacrifice in comfort. It is indeed a job well done. Inside, the modifications to this SVT continue. First of all, you get a set of boy racer pedals and a really nice six-speed manual that brings flick of the wrist throws. You also get a nice set of bucket seats, leather trimmed at that, that bring lots of lateral support. The dials, well, they're nicely finished and you also get two extra. One for oil pressure and one for oil temperature. Now, if you add another $2,700 to that lot, you also get a power moonroof, heated seats, traction control, and this really nice radio. Now, part of its performance is supplemented by the enormous 8-inch subwoofer in the trunk. From a safety perspective, the SVT holds its own. Along with traction control, it gets standard anti-lock and bigger brakes, the front rotors being a full two inches larger in diameter. This provides stronger stops that are more fade resistant. During the test, we recorded an average stopping distance of 112 feet from 80K. Elsewhere, the Focus SVT gets dual front airbags, as well as front seat-mounted side impact airbags. You know, the people at SVT have done a bang-up job with this new Focus. It's fun, it's fast, and it's got impeccable road manners. Indeed, it's everything that the ZX3 should have been and more. Perhaps the only hang up, but ultimately price might dissuade a few buyers.
So here's the question. Where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.